And welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Clavicus. This is my evil playthrough of Viador Genesis New Horizons December 2022 edition. Uh, this is Shard 20, episode 7, I believe. And it's been a while since I played, so I, you're going to have to bear with me actually as I uh, reorientate myself. Now, I think I've probably got a dead warrior. Yep, good old Yago. I'm up to my normal tri tricks of. Um, <laughs> Killing off my warriors. <laughs> um, that's right, I've got a main mage, Rulka, who is currently... Oh, that's right, he's just picked up the diamond ring, which is an excellent ring. Um, and he's currently uh, handing it to uh, the backstabber Lancha. We've also got Oinor, and we've got Beleth that we had a trade uh, agreement with. However, we've kind of cancelled things with him because I got my own um, source of uh, uh, Mandrake. Okay, so Scrud was going here to fight the brigands, I believe, because he's... Yes. Whether he'll actually be able to do so is a... Is a Different matter thing is that's one, two, three, four away. I'm assuming he's not actually going to be able to fight those brigands, but we'll get him there anyway. And I made a shitload of money, that's right. Somehow. Events. Or something. So I'm going to put down some mercenaries. I'm going to get a library. Because I can see that, you know, I can get like a... A whole bunch of... A whole bunch of other uh, spells. So, we've got... Adventurers, or we've got these little dudes. These little dudes, eh? So I'm currently spelled up um, to defeat um, Undead because it was the Walking Dead that we were having to fight. It seems that they've learnt that I can deal with the Undead. So we'll go something like this. I think that's what I want to do. We'll get some lightnings. But nothing, nothing beats a good old web. And sometimes two hunters vines is good. Maybe something like that. Uh, okay, we got lizards. We got adventurers. And we've got these dudes. I think these dudes should be a fairly easy battle for me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move over here. I don't I don't think that they'll be able to take on uh, my mercenaries. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. So we'll attack there. Scrud can move up there, um, and we will not do anything else. I would really like to get the um the Magister. That's what it's called. Yes, the Magister. That would be very nice. That would be very nice indeed, but I unfortunately can't. I need to build a secret library to do that, which I think you can build in provinces. So I'm not entirely I'm not entirely ruling out some at some point getting on. I'm getting the uh, magister. We also need to try and find um, iron feet and get the mechanism for for Zar. All right, let's end turn. Militia, slinger, spearman, brigand, 
crossbowman thief brigand. Um, uh, half of me wants to retreat to allow my um, scout Skarud, I believe, to fight this because there's some brigands there, but that would just be a waste of a turn. So I will definitely be engaging um, these people. I'm a little bit worried, to be honest. Uh, about having this guy here, because I think there's there is some range that we're going to have to deal with. Summon a Naiad. Um, and the Naiad can start healing people. And people can come at me. Come at me, bruz. Come at me. save uh, my gems a bit so I shouldn't use them when I don't need to. Ooh, I'm out of heals. Easy. Okay, so we've taken over swamp country, uh, and we found Dead Man Swamp. We will put some mercenaries there, and I guess we'll just invade. Well, I guess we should look at invading here. Um, I want to take the Mandrake away from Lanshar. I think that's um, that sounds good. Now I th I s think I'm also s oh yeah I can't even build a market yet. Okay, okay. Okay, so that is it. Alright, we'll build a Swamp Trappers Guild. Should I build a foundry? I guess I should talk talk through what I'm thinking. Um, I would like to be able to build a market so that I can just drop down the shop so that I can start to transfer some of these good items like the, the diamond ring, which I'm currently not using on this dude. Even though, you know, I, it's probably... You know, it's... it's okay. It's... it's almost def I'd say it's definitely better than than a copper ring but I'd like to get it on uh, Yago and I'd like to get the dwarven shield sort of you know back into the on um, back into the treasury so I'd like to be about be to just drop down storehouses but to do that I need to build four shops and to do that what four shops would I want well I've got this one already this one and this one I'd like to be able to build that one, but I'd need a foundry for that, but don't have iron, so, sh so should I build a foundry, or sh should I build a Swamp Trappers Guild? And that was kind of where my head was at, and I'm like, well, this is bloody expensive, right? But it will allow me to get the plate armory. There 
is this free settlement? Which is that iron? Or, I think that is iron. So I'm going to actually attack this here because I want to prioritize getting the iron. Maybe I should prioritize fucking over Lanchar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna prioritize fucking over Lanchar, and I'm gonna build the Swamp Trappers Guild, and we are going to build a pub here. So, yeah, that's right, because I had to drop a horde there. This is a very important province because it's got, no, it's got me, um, me, me pyramid in. I don't like how people are very discontent. Maybe I should swap that to a mercenaries when I, when I get a chance. Um, anyway, for now, who's going to end turn? Lisbon, beat up, whisperer, bog warrior. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but we're going to attack you guys. Okay, so... We'll go something like... Uh, something like that is probably much better. A better setter up. And now I'm a little bit scared of these dudes getting onto my dude, but I don't think they will um, this turn, and hopefully I can do something about them um, next turn. Pretty happy with that outcome. <laughs> there we go. So we'll summon the uh, the good old Nyad. Who's gonna keep my keep me people alive? One of these dudes can walk too. Definitely kill him. And then he might. Maybe, but then that wouldn't definitely kill him either. He's also a necrophage. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't kill him. I could have turned him to stone. It's probably you know like what I should have done. Yeah, so we'll just do that. All right, so we're gonna get um. Our concentration longer for maximum webbage and then we'll go battle frenzy and we'll go ranged attack and we'll go ooh, range plus one is fucking good on the basilis that can turn people to stone we'll go swamp knowledge plus two and we shall resurrect our poor Yago who didn't do too well so we'll um, we're probably better off upgrading these to taverns, to be honest, because that will make them content and will probably should raise the um, income slightly. But what do we got here? Hell Cohort, Dragon Co Cult, and Medusas. So they're probably all going to be pretty hard, just like I very much doubt that um, Skarud is going to be able to defeat these. Uh, um, these brigands, but we'll give him the best chance. So he can go to brigands. We'll now move on here to start hopefully getting um, our iron. That's right, I forgot how fairly well Scrud was actually kind of decked out already. Um, we will give him, of course, another copper ring. And. I'm assuming he died. I can't actually even like remember what he died fighting. 
something that he shouldn't have been fighting. That's <laughs> so we'll just explore. Yeah, let's end turn. Militia man, veteran slinger, spearman, veteran spearman, bowman, pikeman, swordsman, crossbowman, border sentinel. What are my orders? My orders are to, to attack, of course. What else would that be? Okay. One, two, three. Alright, so I'm gonna. Do we even need to web? To be honest. Probably not. Oops. Fuck these cunts up. And then turn. Stone, because I'm worried, worried a little bit about it. And like turning people to stone is just boss. That was what I was a bit worried about. See that damage coming out. So, let's see if he doesn't have forest knowledge. This is range five, one, two, three, four, five. And I will hit the, the, the ranger. This dude was not fucking stoned for very long, was he? That's redonkulous. How did he fucking not get stoned for so long? Absolutely redonkulous, I tell ya. It's only one turn. I don't understand it. I'm a little bit worried about this dude, eh? It's alright. Barbarian to the... It's like I'm gonna hit hard enough. No. So we should all be good now. Yago has found an old fortress. He's got imp spawns and demonologists. Well, I don't really want to get defeated again and him to die so quickly.
Even though maybe he would actually be able to defeat that. I'm just going to retreat this time. Okay, gang leader, brigand thief, bandit, renegade, cutthroat, thug. Oh boy. Sounds a little bit too hard for my poor little scarud um, to deal with, to be honest. So I shall retreat. Now, Iago. We get a church. And get him some silver weapons, maybe. He'll be able to, he'll be able to you know, fight evil things. So, it's a mithril deposit, not iron. God damn it. And some gnolls defending it. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's have a look about fighting these gnolls. Um, Skirad can explore, seeing as this needs to be explored anyway. He can explore. And we'll just end turn. Some catacombs. Plague warrior and plague shooter. Yeah, I don't really feel like getting plagued. Pack Warriors and Tormentors. Yes. You guys are going down, motherfuckers. You just don't know it yet. Alright. That's right. They're like immune to fire, aren't they? <laughs> are they? No, they're not immune to fire. That's demons is. So, we'll stop these guys coming at us at least anyway. And we'll damage some of these guys. Alright, so it does 13 damage. Which will should nicely kill this. We will of course get our Nyad for some healing. And we'll start damaging these evil dudes some more. And they're held for so long, four turns. It's almost like he's gonna die before, before he gets the turn. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for him. The petrification is only gonna last one turn again. I don't understand. Defeated the gnolls, gained control of the mithril. Easy. Advisors report that I can now build two guards and build an additional building. I actually care very much, but I'm going to say that I do not care because that's <sighs> that's what a prick would do. All right, so this is good. Mercenaries and their content. So I'm going to let it burn up. And I'm going to make some money by selling food at exorbitant prices. Should have sold it for higher. Alright, so Yago can I guess he can do a few things. He can deck himself out with some silver. 
some more copper would go down nicely as well and Let's um Let's go something like that and we'll go and we'll fight these uh this demon knowledges that we saw. I guess he can explore one more turn. Now what do we got here? Well, we can hire harpies. If I wanted harpies, but I don't really require harpies because I can just summon nature which will give me much better things. Um, I think I want to keep on keeping on, meaning I want to keep on slaying uh thing me bugger me. Um a lancha. Got no money. Well, they're not just, just about to revolt. We've got a content town here, so we'll look we'll try and coffer. Tell them some lies. And we'll build a mine here. We'll explore, we'll go to the demonologist and we'll move towards Lansha. Alright, let's end turn. Okay. Come at me, bruz. Damn it, they got two. This probably won't kill them. That is going to be really problematic. That's got two as well. But at least it, like, it greatly reduces her damage. So, good spell. Because obviously I don't have resistance to resist their stupid magical attacks. Demonology is dead. Yago leveled up. Oh, I do have some resistance, so that's good. I'll also take um, I mean, they're all really good. Athletics one. Ooh. Ooh. We'll go constitution. And stamina and regen. And we've got access. We found the treasury. An illusory battle and plate overshoes. 184 and 10. I will definitely wait for new orders now. Um, I guess I can work his way back. Um, exploring the things that need to be explored. We can put... I'll put Gang of Thieves in here. It's like, you know, like how, how angry do I want these people to be? You know, because it will you give them a pub. I guess the cutthroats are stronger though. Fine, we'll get some cutthroats. Now they're indignant. Oh, oh it is a mithril place so So maybe I'm I'm playing with fire a little bit there. Um so you can swap out his shoes and sell them. 
um, repair all. Now let's just um, let's spell them for some, you know, more rounded combat, and he can keep on exploring. We'll get some mercenaries here. Oh, they're still discontent. That is disappointing. I think I really need to build the th the um the theater. So, because I uh, yeah I don't want to lose these places. Um, I can't afford a tavern. I can't afford anything. All right, so that can go there. They can go there, and he can explore. There are some slugs. Do I want to kill slugs? Not really. All right, we've got some ancient ruins with imps and spawns. All right, we shall attack. Shit up, cunt. Told ya. Alright, so he gets a wolf's fang. Uh, which isn't too bad, and I found the court. Which slows unrest growth in the capital, allows upgrading a deputy's house to a judge's house, and reduces corruption by 20%. So that's one of the main reasons why I... Um, Attacked this shard actually was for the um, corruption reduction. Our war is at a deadlock, Clavicus, for there are a few soldiers left that can be killed. The time has come to gather new armies to continue the battle of new strength. You, do you agree? I fucking refuse. <laughs> you just don't want me taking more of your lands, which you see as inevitable. Because it is. Um, Alright, so I'm going to build a tavern here to make this place at least like me a little bit more. Um, I'll get a gang of thieves. And hopefully they can sort themselves out. Ah, this place! Oh has sorted itself out and no longer hates me. We'll upgrade this to a tavern. We will explore here. Keep on exploring there. Now Iago is wearing his wolf's fang. But I could also buy a commander's medal for him which would make him do more damage. But I think I'll I'll keep the wolf's fang on him, and I'll, rep I'll repair all items. Okay, that's N10. Lizard, beetle, whisperer, bog warrior, I will attack you guys. And you guys are gonna fucking die. There's no other way to put it. You know, no, no, no polite way to put it. Oh, I was thinking he'll be able to fucking shoot this cunt. But he can't. That's no good.
damage. You know what I'm just gonna do? Wait this dude. It lasts for so long. <laughs> Oh, ha, ha. It's like I don't need to, need to care about like anything else. So I can just like forget him all game. One, one, one more turn, let's... Oh, I can't petrify. Can't kill him like that. Can't kill him like that. Alright, so... We will... Increase our Thaumaturgy. Um, reducing resistance of targets. Effectively making our spells more powerful. Could go one master. Ooh, no, let's go Thaumaturgy. What am I thinking? We'll go Battle Frenzy, Battle Frenzy. But we'll go Range Defense. While exploring the province of the hero, Yago has found an Inquisition, Inquisition troop. The Inquisitors are going to burn some people at the, at the stake. Well, he won't be able to fight Inquisition, and I don't want to help burn him, so I'm just gonna... Let's approach him. What do you need, my child? I don't need anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass him by. Okay, we found an abandoned temple. So what is an abandoned temple? We've got a swordsman, healer, ground healer, monk, preacher, guardsman, priest, patriarch, and smiting hand in it for. That's what I want to know. We'll string up some of these bloody um, malcontents and let them hang. That's all they're good for. Hanging those tells ya. Ooh, before I build a tavern there, I need to consider. I need mercenaries first, which means I'll get a pub here. He can keep on exploring, he can keep on exploring. He's really not very healthy, is he? Why is he not gaining health quickly, more quickly? Anyway. Um. Ruka is feeling quite confident and his abilities and he sees that there's some thugs guarding um, some wood so we're gonna take this wood for ourselves and destroy the thugs Ooh, I see that they've been replaced by a walking dead oh, that really doesn't bother me <laughs> not one iota Let's have a look. Mm. I mean, that's 13. That's 10. Mm. Mm. I don't know how to do that. 
I'll do it. So I can start dealing damage at least with this dude. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like still, <laughs> still tangled up. Don't go back, eh? I can't control you if you go back, eh, you cunt. I guess I don't need to control you as if you if they're webbed. <laughs> webbed for a billion years. I think I did that in a fairly, you know, um, not a, not a gem hung, hungry manner, gem wasting manner. Um, we'll go attack, we'll go range defense, that sounds good. We'll go counter attack. I found a weapon store. We will examine it, we will enter the shop, we would like to make a special order. I can make a moon staff for you, but I need a moonstone to work with. It can only be found in the banks of an enchanted pool. I had quite a good stock of these stones before, but one day I lost everything to an out-of-town dwarf. Never mind, I won't bore you with idle stories. If you can obtain such a stone, I will gladly make I will gladly make an excellent staff for you. Alright, I will find the stone. Yes, let's have a look at what these weapons. So, Chana Shield. He's got the horse pike. He's got a devil's trident. Oh! That is pretty good. Pretty good if you've got like demonologists and stuff in, in, your, in, in your party. 
Um, a hammer, sil silver shield. Good for the resistance. Parts and first strike, of course. A piercing spear, though. Look at that. I mean, this guy with a piercing spear would be fucking good. So I kind of want to get this because, you know, I have 5 6 first strike, armor piercing, wounding strike. So I'm just going to note down that's 1 6 20 and 2 5 8. Um, piercing spear. 1 6 20. Two five eight. Of course, it'd be cheaper if my um. My scout does the buying. Just diplomacy. Anyways, okay. I found a bandit's hideout. Let's examine it. Thirteen brigands and gang leaders. <laughs> I do need to kill brigands, and I think that is a little bit too much for my poor little party. Let's retreat. Um, you can cope with the dead yourself. Okay, so we've we've taken we have taken this province, <coughs> and we have got the red oak wood. We already had red oak wood though. But unfortunately, I can't afford to put um, mercenaries in charge. So we'll build a pub, and we will attack the elves. Let's get him a little bit. Uh, let's get him a little bit closer to home, exploring. Um. Now, if I don't put a a guard here. It's almost better while rule cars there because it will probably waste this dude's turn as he attacks a unguarded province only to run away from my mage. Yeah, I go. Still healing very slowly. All right, let's end turn. There we go. I'll destroy them, damn coward. I found a primeval thicket with five dire bears. Well. As strong as Yago isn't, I don't think I'll fight with fight them. Elf medium pathfinder shapeshifter. All right, let's attack. Ooh, holy fuck! Look at all that range. The range is definitely a problem, which is why I'm keeping all of my people in um, in forests. Uh, let's. I mean, it may be a double shot from this cunt. Might be enough. To... All right. I just need to not not f around. <laughs> I need five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh. Fortunately, the ranged people also aren't that strong. This this guy is fairly strong, for sure. You can also t transform into Grun as a heavy beast with tremendous strength and endurance. He doesn't have force march though, so I don't need to care about him for now, so it's really just this dude. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so, he, so he's out of range, unfortunately, but I will venture my dudes a little bit further forward. Alright. <clears throat> that guy's dead. We will web this dude, which will last for three turns. Hopefully, giving us plenty of time to heal everything up and, you know, deal some damage to him. 
We just wait one more turn so we can heal up. And we have defeated the elves. We've got 164 gold and 14 gems crystals. And my scholar has leveled up to level 10. So, Ooh, range defense or ammo. So it was a tough one, but we'll go the ammo for sure. Miracle. Inflicts 12 points of magic damage to all units within one tile. All friendly units within range of spell recover 12 hit points. Damage and healing power increase with the caster's spell power. Has no effect on the undead mechanical units and elementals. Which doesn't sound like much of a, a miracle if you can't even damage the undead or elementals. Especially when it's sacred. Sacred magic can't... Um, can't damage the undead still it does sound like an extremely good spell which I would like to have in my repertoire so no iron that is, that is appalling. I see this dude. So it looks, if I'm not mistaken, that looks like um, Oinor. So it looks like Oinor and Beleth are fighting each other. Let's have a look. He's got nothing to trade. Uh, resource to exchange. Me, you know. Um, I, 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 okay. Yeah, so he's only got horses, so. Your unsent message will be, lo my unsent message will be lost. Continue, yes. I haven't even sent anything. <laughs> Why would I care if my unsent message is lost? We don't have any anybody guarding my my lovely city, which people to guard it anyway but we will build a foundry we'll explore the province Skarad will explore we will build a mercenaries and I'm thinking seagull valley or should I just keep on Keep on keeping on. Meaning keep on pushing forwards into... Thinking pushing forwards. And this has got some di... How do I know it's... I own. Oh, can you always know what something is even though you don't know? <laughs> so I had I know that there's a resource there and I can see that it's Dionium. I had never realized that before. I thought you actually had to discover the resource um, to find out what it is. Interesting. Anyway, I will attack. Scrud will explore, and Yago will explore, and we shall build a tavern. In fact, let's have a look. Let's 
Let's go library. And we'll learn spells. So we'll, we'll learn this miracle. Ooh, level three. We will replace the shock. And I think I can still get a shock down there, maybe. And here we'll build a granary. That can be upgraded um, to a stable to make use of the uh, horses later. Alright, so we'll keep on pressing the attack. I think that that sounds good. Ooh, some more Art Walking Dead to destroy. Let's do it. I've destroyed you once, I'll destroy you again, yeah. Undead peons. That does a lot of damage, hey? does quite a bit of damage. Then if I chain lightning. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna kill like a few a little bit more than like just that much. But that's alright. Maybe I should invest in like um Oh I thought it would have an axe. Invest in one firing. Cause it would it would save me quite a bit. gems and crystals and the like. It looks like I've reached level 20. Okay, you can get damage armor. There's a dark knight, a thief, a bowman, a spearman, a sorcerer, and a horseman. What are my orders? My orders are to attack this prick. That are that is definitely my orders. That are all right. I need to not underestimate these pricks. One, two, three, four, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I need to make sure he can't eat me. I also want to get my Nyad so he, he can heal up. This dude. Wow. Well, gotta kill them anyway, but yes. I need to make sure that I don't yeah, underestimate this stupid Dark Knight. Which doesn't look like it's going to happen at this point in time.
surprise a zombie zombie. Why would you do such a thing? how much damage I've done to this dark night just with my um my my scholar is doing well all right all right that is what we're looking for we're gonna web this cunt Surely he'll be level 20. And I got an increase in command, which should hopefully give me another level 2s. So I will summon that nature to my side again. And you know what? I might actually go one master. Oof. Oof. I will reward him and we'll go um we'll take defense go regen and we have completely explored our home province with Yago and we'll go blacksmithing because I do have um I, yeah I don't have the greatest of economies at the moment we found some ancient ruins that have an Icarus Illuminary Stalker witness and a memory keeper in it, but that is too much for poor Skirud, so I will retreat. And it looks like I have found Nitazer, the capital um, of. What was his name? Lancia. He should never have declared war on me. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Oh, and what did I get? What did. Having perfected the art of the mage, here he becomes an arch mage. Able to cast two complex spells each turn. Yeah, I know that. But I get something more for becoming level 20, don't I? I don't know. Oh, I forgot about my 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 magic shield for giving like resistance to things near me. So before I forget, I will do, I will perform the summon nature. And we got a swamp dragonfly. Not the best. Um, probably my least, my least favorite to be honest, uh, of the things that you can get. You can get, you know, spiders, you can get slugs. You can get dire bears, you can get the bacillus, of course. Swamp dragonfly, I mean, they're, they're quite maneuverable. And when, like once you, once you level them up, 
that can be quite good. This guy's only level three, but I guess I can keep him alive with my naiad, and and all will be good. Now, will I destroy Lancha right now? Uh, or like soon? I don't know. I think maybe I might just wall him off and leave him there to rot. And then maybe declare war on someone else. Because remember, I've got to search for the for um, this province called Iron Feet, which is run by goblins. And so I've got to have somebody. Like the the best um, strategy for that is to have somebody walled off. Um, so you, so the game's not just about to end. You know, you can just forget about them, and then you've got the time required um, to search. For, for for the province, for the province, yes. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do about Lancia at this uh, stage. I can't afford some mercenaries, but I do note that there is a shop here, a plate armory, in fact. I, I can't perform any more rituals. I'm gonna go to this plate armory um, f with the view to swapping out that ring and stuff and getting it to my wizard Yago. That's uh, my wizard, my warrior Yago. That's gonna um, put the diamond ring to much uh, better use. But for now, this is where I'm gonna finish uh, this episode. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. This has been Clavicus's Evil Playthrough of Eodor Genesis New Horizons, December 2022 edition. Well, I'm going to destroy your life, and I thought I was going to do it alongside Lan Char, but it looks like I'm going to have to destroy him too, because he's a fucking backstabbing prick bastard. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, and it's just scrolling off the screen, because I can't remember what episode number this is. I, I, I realised, I think last time I was, it was like episode 10 or something, and I was, it was like episode 5. Um, this is episode 7, actually. Shard 20, episode 7. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll catch you all next time. Much love. Peace. Peace, love, unity, respect. The way of the raver. Catch you later.